Well, most of the fans in attendance here have had to bring their umbrellas and wear their raincoats. It's a soggy day for this match. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting next to me here on the commentary gantry is the former Arsenal and West Ham United midfield man, Stuart Robson. And with the game just moments away now, this really ought to be a superb watch. Stuart, what are you expecting? Well, thanks, Derek, as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. The line-up then for the hosts. Well, although we have it down as a 4-5-1, it's actually more likely to be a 4-2-3-1. They play with two holding midfield players, a number 10 and two wingers. The system has a nice balance to it. Let's take a look at the Liverpool starting 11. Alisson begins in goal. Virgil van Dijk plays alongside Joel Matip in central defence. Mohamed Salah plays with Sadio Mane out wide. And they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. And now they get the ball rolling. Tremendous challenge. Diogo Jota. Now Mo Salah. Alexander Arnold. And threading it forward. Well, somehow the goalkeeper got to it. <laughs> Who can they pick out? Not the result from the set piece they were looking for. Alexander Arnold. And this is Diogo Jota now. And that's sound goalkeeping. Well, so close to getting that early goal there. But it was a wonderful save by the keeper, you have to say. Now, potential danger. And he made that interception look routine. In truth, it wasn't. Alexander Arnold. Matip. Fabinho now. Precise ball movement. Can they forge ahead? Great defending here. And denied by the keeper. Impressive. Playing it short. Oh, the flag has gone up, and that's one that's going to need a bit more practice on the training ground. Well, that must drive everybody mad, particularly those players in the box. Jota. Henderson. Well, nothing comes of the attack when all is said and done. Ouski. Tremendously strong in the tackle. Well, no stopping him. And Mohamed Salah now. Oh, should have done so much better from there.
Now, that's a really poor challenge. Now, what's the referee going to do about it? And yellow it is. A booking? Yeah, he was too impatient to win the ball and probably deserved a yellow card. Has eyes for goal! Oh, brilliant technique. I'm not sure about you, Stuart, but I thought that was going in. Well, so did I, but in the end, it comes to nothing. But what a great strike it was. It was hit so sweetly. Aysa Laiduni. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Matip. Well, a decent position for Liverpool to be in. But nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. Could be a chance to break here. And the counter-attack came to nothing. Diogo Jota. Alexander-Arnold. Now Mo Salah. Can they forge ahead from this corner kick? Let's see. They take it short. And that's gone out of play for what will be a goal kick. And what a performance Sadio Mane is going to be remembering fondly, Stuart. I think that's fair to say. Well, he's almost been a bystander, Derek. You can see from the touch map, he just hasn't received the ball in the areas where he can do damage. That needs to change if they're to win here. Typically tigerish tackle from Jordan Henderson. Henderson. Here's Fabinho. Well, that's how to hit them. Not quite accurate enough, though. So two minutes of stoppage time here. Thiago. Here's Salah. Determined defending. So the whistle then. We're up the halfway stage in this match. Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. Vital interception. The danger was very real. Throw-ins given. Henderson. The cut back. There is the goal to open the scoring. Who can say they don't deserve to be in 
front. Well, let's look at this again. The one and two touch passing is absolutely outstanding to play around the pressure, but the finish is far too easy. He doesn't even have to jump. How has he afforded that much space? It's a tidy header, but really poor defending. And back underway, 1-0 it is. You need your defender to take charge. And reading it absolutely superbly. Liverpool couldn't keep it. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Alexander Arnold. Fabinho now Mo Salah Diogo Jota Salah and Thiago and out of play it goes alas so a personnel change then Oh, that pass easy on the eye. The end product just wasn't there. Not messing around with that clearance. Henderson. Can he do it? And it's gone in. The team's separated by two goals now. You cannot say they don't deserve it. Well, here we can see it again, and it's all about the pace of the passing. One touch, slick movement, but should the keeper be beaten at his near post? I don't think so. He really needs to do better in those situations. So, 2-0 now. Well, he likes to run at them. Quick thinking to dispossess his opponent. Alexander Arnold. Now Mo Salah. Henderson. And dealt with that ball comfortably. Thiago. And dispossessed. Now we're inside the final quarter of an hour now. And fine work from Liverpool to win the ball back. Salah. Read it well. Fabinho. And using his body to good effect. So on the cusp of the final whistle, and the visitor is very much in command, Stuart. Yeah, clearly the better side. Obviously being fantastic up front, but it's their work ethic for me. They're just not happy unless they have the ball, and they're fighting to win it back whenever they do lose it. It's been a really great performance all round. And so into the final five minutes... 
Mane. Firmino. Henderson has it. And running it back. And Mohamed Salah now. Henderson. And back with Firmino. Oh, he couldn't outwit the keeper. making a change and there's the delivery it hasn't come to very much and the referee blows for full time this goes down as a Liverpool victory well, Derek, it was a comfortable win in the end. Fully deserved their victory because they dominated every aspect of the game. It was a really good result for them here today. Another more than effective night's work for Mo Salah. Your thoughts on his performance? Well, he should be pleased with himself today because he performed really well. He scored a good goal and they won the game. An excellent day all round.